All right, so one last example here of multiplying whole numbers. Um, part A, we did 6325 times 124. I should have probably just done it on this page. Who cares? I am going to do the next one on this page. So um, where did my little, my important props go? I've got my pieces of paper. Okay, so we're going to do 7,127 uh, times 361. All right, again, let's pretend that first digit those first two digits just aren't there. Well, if you multiply anything by one, you just get the number. So one times seven one two seven will be seven one two seven. All right, that wasn't too bad. Now I'm going to move to my next digit, which is the six. Again, I've moved over one digit. I'm going to add one zero. Let's see, six times seven is forty two. So I'm going to keep the two and carry the four. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 4 is going to be 16. So I'm going to keep the 6 and carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. And then 6 times 7 is going to be 42. Alright, so let me scratch those out. I'm done with them. Move over to my last digit here. So I've moved over 1, 2 spots. So I'm going to add two zeros. And now I'm going to do three times seven, which is twenty-one. So I'm going to keep the one and carry the two. Three times two is six, plus two is eight. Let's see, uh, so nothing to carry. Three times one is three. Three times seven is twenty-one. And now, again, I'm just going to add everything up. So again, um, well, let me add it up and let me point it out again in a second. Again, just what we're doing one last time. So let's add it up. 7 plus 0 and 0 is 7. 2 and 2 is 4. Plus 0 is 4. Uh, 1 plus 6 plus 1 is going to give us 8. Let's see. 7 and 7 is 14. 14 plus 8 is going to be 22. So I'll keep the 2. Carry a 2. 2 and 2 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. 4 and 1 is 5. Drop down the 2. And again, now we've got our solution. So it says if you multiply 7,127 by 361, you'll have 2,572,847. Okay, and again, all I wanted to point out, again, what we're doing by doing this process, we're really just doing, you know, 1 times the number, 7127. That gives us uh, the first row. Uh, forget about this number because that's where we carried it a second ago. Um, and then we're just doing the next thing, which would, you can think about as being a 60. We're multiplying that by 7127. That's how we're getting you know, the middle row. And then we're doing 300 times 7127 to get this last row. And then we're just adding all those results together. So again, all we're doing when we're multiplying by this whole number, this procedure is just breaking it down into sort of a you know, uh, easier multiplications in a way. You know, multiplying by one or by things that end in zero is a little bit easier. And then we're, we're just adding those results together.